Uh-oh, five logical puzzles that will take time to crack. These brain teasers would be easy and straightforward if it weren't for all the conditions you have to take into account so that they don't contradict each other. Are you ready to put your logical skills to the test? Number 1. True Colors One day, Mr. Blue, Mr. Red, and Mr. White, who all want to be the French flag, meet for dinner. When they take off their jackets, Mr. Blue draws everybody's attention to the fact that each of them is wearing a shirt different from their last name. The man in a white shirt looks surprised and says, Yeah, Mr. Blue, you're right. Can you figure out what color shirt each man is wearing? You have 20 seconds to solve this colorful mystery. Let's break it down logically. Mr. Blue can be wearing only a white or a red shirt. But we know for sure that a different man is in white. This means that Mr. Blue must be in a red shirt. Mr. White could be sporting a blue or red shirt. But the red one is already taken by Mr. Blue. So we can reasonably conclude that Mr. White is wearing blue. In the end, that leaves Mr. Red, who is obviously wearing a white shirt and all of them looking rather silly. Number 2. Magical Land In the magical land of Narnia, all the animals are intelligent and rational. You are in charge of watching 10 lions and a sheep. If you get distracted, one of the lions can eat the sheep. But remember, Narnia is magical, so if a lion gobbles up the sheep, it turns into a sheep itself. Then the rest of the lions can eat it. If you leave these animals alone for some time, how many lions and sheep will you find when you come back? Magical land, magical animals, hmm, can you solve this magical riddle? You have 20 seconds to do it. When you return, there will be, in fact, nine lions and one sheep. The main thing here is that all the animals are rational. Once a lion eats the sheep and turns into a sheep itself, the rest of the lions will understand the consequences of such an action. They don't want to become a sheep. They'd rather remain the king of the jungle. Well, hmm. Number 3. A strict king and a clever merchant. There once lived a really strict king who ruled a town that was surrounded by a high wall. No citizen was allowed to leave, and anyone who wanted to enter the town had to have all the necessary paperwork. <laughs> Sound familiar? Otherwise, the guard would send them away. The town was connected with the rest of the world only by a single wooden bridge under the watch of the king's expert sharpshooter, who went out of his hut every five minutes to check the bridge. He would then stay inside for 5 minutes. To cross the bridge, a person needed 9 minutes. Yet, despite such a reliable scheme, one merchant managed to escape from the town. How did he do it without being killed by the sharpshooter? Man, this is a tough town. That must have been an extremely smart merchant. Are you sharp enough to figure out a strategy? You have 20 seconds. Time's up, so here's the answer. The merchant walked along the bridge away from the town for about 5 minutes while the shooter was inside. After that, he turned around and started walking back towards the gates of the town. When he reached them, the guard demanded to see his documents, which he, of course, didn't have. So he was sent away. Number 4. Who's the murderer? There are 5 people, and one of them shot another one dead. The detective investigating the case only have the following information. Damien ran a marathon the day before the murder together with one of the innocent people from the group. 
Michael had been considering becoming a farmer before moving to the city. Jeffrey is a highly skilled computer specialist and plans to set up a new computer for Benedict next week. Last month, the murderer underwent a leg amputation. Jack has been in isolation since the crime was committed. Benedict got acquainted with Jack six months ago. Damien used to be a heavy drinker. Jeffrey and Benedict built their last computers together. The murderer is Jack's brother. They grew up together in Chicago. Well, those are some really random facts. Hopefully you have seriously good detective skills. Can you solve this case in 20 seconds? Alright, let's sort through this mess. First of all, Jack can't be the murderer since he's the murderer's brother. It's not Damien either, because he ran a marathon. And the murderer doesn't have one leg, remember? That would make it kind of hard to compete with the other runners. Benedict can't be the murderer, since he met Jack six months ago. And Jack and the murderer grew up together. So who does that leave us with? Jeffrey and Michael. And while Jeffrey is still alive and even wants to help Benedict with his computer, this means he killed Michael. Number 5. Which box is the toy car in? 1. In this one. 2. Not in this one. 3. Not in the first box. Remember, only one assertion is true. Take your time and concentrate. You have 20 seconds to find the toy car. Now, let's work it out together. If the car is in box number 1, that would mean that both assertions 1 and 2 are correct. That contradicts the task condition that only one assertion is true. If the car is in box 3, then claims 2 and 3 would be true. If the car is in box number 2, then only assertion 3 can be true. That fits the task condition, so it's the right answer. So, how many riddles did you figure out on your own? Tell us in the comments below! Challenge your friends by sharing this video with them and give us a like if you had a good time solving these puzzles. So not to miss any other mysteries, riddles, and just really cool videos on our channel, hit that subscribe button! Stay with us on the Bright Side of Life!